Welcome to the Green and Gold Gridiron Show. My name is Margo Morin. And I'm Chris Sheets from Kissing Country 103.9. Well, fall is in the air. Some might say we've had a touch of winter so far. Too much of a touch for our liking. Thank you very much. But that also means the CFL season's coming to an end. Grey Cup right around the corner, and the CFL teams are all fighting for those playoff spots. It's been a really, really good year as far as competitiveness goes. And speaking of really good... Our show will be great today. So first off, we're going to find out how well Scott Gordon's roommates know him in teammate trivia. And then we're going to throw it over to Tom Richards in Football 101. Speaking of Tom Richards, Margo, do you actually remember who returned kicks for the S after Tom Richards? Gizmo! You got it. All right, in this edition of Teammate Trivia, we're putting roommates against each other. Graham Bell and Elliot Richardson uh, are here to see who knows Scott Gordon better. So, first question, what is his biggest pet peeve? A, forwarded emails, B, slow drivers, or C, people who are always late? I don't think anything really bothers Scott, so I'm going to go D, nothing. I'd say all three. Forward, e those forward emails, you know, you get, everyone just sends them to you and they're just like random things. The first concert he ever saw was A, U2, B, Dave Matthews, or C, Pink Floyd. Uh, Britney Spears. I'd say uh, he's, he's pretty old, so Beethoven. First concert was Dave Matthews with my wife. One word that best describes his personality, A, laid back, B, worries all the time, or C, happy. Laid back. He's completely great. He worries all the time. Laid back. Hi, I'm Tom Richards with Football 101. This week, we'd like to talk about kickoff and kickoff return. Start of the game, we have a kickoff. Most kickers are right-footed, so they'll put the ball on the right hash mark, and they'll line up their guys. All the guys on the kickoff cover team, which is part of the special teams unit, if you remember, will be behind the ball when it's kicked. Now, typically, the kicker will kick it down the field to one side. If he kicks it in the middle, it's a lot easier for the returner to make a decision to go either way. They typically want to put a guy into the corner where he's really only got straight up or try to run this way. So what happens? All the guys up front come down about 15 or 20 yards and turn and hit the first guy they see. These guys down here will create a bit of a wall. So when the returner gets the ball, he'll be led by the other returner around the corner and up the field. So that's just one example of a kickoff return. For more information on other returns and more about football and Football 101, go to esks.com. You know, Chris, even though the Eskimos have a rigorous training regime, they still take a lot of their personal time to help out charities and other local organizations. That's so true, Margo. In fact, this week in Out of Bounds, Big Brothers Big Sisters Honorary Chairman Kamal Peterson brings out his buddies Willie Amos and Patrick Cabongo to spend some time with the kids. Check it out. I'm Kamal Peterson here for Big Brothers Big Sisters. I'm here with Pat Cabongo and Willie Amos. We're here at the African Youth Center and we're going to have to talk to the kids and have some fun. Kids, we have some very, very important guests today. As you can see, we have Eskimo football players here today. Yay! How you guys doing? Good. Good. My name's Kamal Peterson. I'm number eight. I play slot back for the Eskimos. Who, how many people know what a slot back does? I'm the little guy that catches the ball and runs away from all the big guys. Okay, that's pretty much my job. I just run away like I'm scared, but I'm pretty good at it because I'm pretty fast. I also brought with me one of our new uh, new players, Willie Amos, and Willie's uh, exactly give him a round of applause. But let me uh, let me turn it over to Pat so he can introduce himself. All right, guys. Let's take these guys. Pat Bongo, the Pat, what other sports do you like? Uh, besides eating, uh, <laughs> I, I, love, I love playing basketball. When I was young, I was playing a lot of basketball in high school and stuff. If you're good at basketball, really work on that. Sometimes it can take you places. Do you like playing video games or video like, What's your favorite game? I do. Uh, I play a lot of video games. Uh, right, right now, I'm kind of partial to Mario Kart on the Wii. I used to like Halo a lot. Um, that and Tiger Woods. I'm a big Tiger Woods on PS3 too. See, they already knew Pat. Pat's famous. What's your name? Kamal Peterson. I'm number eight. Willie, what's your name? Yes. I know. That was Patrick Cabongo. 
Okay, guys, let's go. My team, come here. I mean, Eskimos have a long-standing tradition in the community anyway, so we're just carrying that out. I want you to move straight and come back to the and stay there. Well, I mean, I've been working with Big Brothers Big Sisters all year, so, you know, anything they ask me to do is, is pretty easy for me to come do, and some of the guys came and helped me out. And curl. All right? Just stay right by me. Oh, okay, just turn around. Dude, you're going to be right by me here, all right? On hunt, you're going to go straight, and you're going to stay there. Oh, if Pat's quarterback, I'm not playing. <laughs> He's terrible at throwing. Watch how bad this throw is. Watch this. Is it going to be the worst throw you've ever seen? And I guarantee no one catches it. Watch this. Look at this. Look. Now, now, he, now everyone's too far. He can't reach him. Look at that terrible throw. Oh, yeah! Oh, someone caught it. I was shocked someone caught it. Yeah! Yeah! For Big Brothers, Big Sisters, I'm Kamal Peterson, and that's it for Out of Bounds. All right. All right. You know, Marco, the only thing better than seeing the smiles on those kids' faces was the smile on the big kid's face, Patrick Cabongo, when he threw that touchdown pass. The only thing that would have been better is if Patrick would have taken the handoff and rumbled down the field himself for the touchdown. Well, in today's three-minute drill, we don't have Patrick Cabongo taking any handoffs, but we do have somebody a little bit more qualified. Yes. Jesse Lumsden will be showing some minor football players the proper technique to taking handoffs. Hi, my name is Jesse Lums and running back for the Edmonton Eskimos. Today on the three minute drill, we're going to be showing you how to take a handoff. Today we have with us Tyler, Dane, Mitchell, Ross, Jordan, Zach, Jordan, Anthony, Eddie, Evan, John, Austin. When receiving a handoff, there's only two ways to do it one way when you're going to the right, one when you're going to the left. When you're going to the left, your right arm should be on top. The left should be on the bottom. This allows the quarterback to feed the ball into an open area. When you're going to the right, you switch it. Left arm on top, right on the bottom. Let's get started. Everybody want to line up? I'll just say set hut, okay? And just a straight down dive. Set hut. 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 Good job. One thing to always remember is you want to be looking at where you want to run to. You never want to be looking at the ball. You have to be able to trust your quarterback to get the ball where it needs to be so you can do your job, go score touchdowns. That's our three minute drill. That's it for this week's episode of the Green and Gold Gridiron Show. Don't forget to join us every Wednesday starting at 4 p.m. on Shaw TV Channel 10. You can also check us out at esks.com and shawtv.ca. Can you say big game, Margo? Big game, Margo. Huge game coming up on 5.30. Uh, note the early start. Also check your Shaw HD listings. And for this game only, it'll be on our radio station, Kiss and Country 103.9 on the FM dial. Brian Hall, not on one speaker, but two touchdown Eskimos all game long. But until next week, go, go Esks, go! go. Thank you.